Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in today's video, I want to do a brief review of the Carolyn Gervain Epic 1 and 2 programs. And I just finished Epic 2 about a week ago. And so I wanted to kind of come on here and talk about a, a little bit about the programs, especially if she's come up on your timeline and you weren't quite sure um, about going through with it. So here's my take on it. And then hopefully by the end of the video, it will motivate you to give them a try. So backstory on Carolyn from what I can gather. Um, she's about my age. She's 37. She has two kids. She's been a trainer forever. She's a marathon runner and she's just an overall badass woman. Like she is such a beast of a woman. She is strong and she's funny and she's super kind and so nice. And she really pays attention and she listens to everybody. And if she can comment back, she really tries to engage with her subscribers and her followers on any of her social media platforms. Okay, so what to expect. So you got two active rest days and then five days of work. So generally Thursdays and Saturdays were your rest days. And on that, it was kind of up to you what you wanted to do. Either you go for a walk or you have your elliptical or you do some kind of HIIT workout, whatever it may be. And then the other five days, you know that you can log on to YouTube and watch a video for anywhere between the length of 30 minutes and an hour and you were going to get a pretty solid workout in. Um, she always posts a calendar about what to expect. So Monday could be legs and then you could have went into like back and maybe you got some like hamstrings in there and some arms and the calf, whatever it may be so that you can kind of kind of set up your week for that. Um, so that was really nice to know that I didn't have to think about anything. Most of her workouts were between 30 minutes and an hour long. Sundays were always a hit workout, so that was always 30 minutes. Fridays were always full body, so that was always one hour full body. And then generally the other workouts were between 45 minutes to 50 minutes long. Um, her workouts are structured. Usually you got like 45 seconds of, of an exercise to do and then a 15 second break, or it could be 30 seconds of an exercise and 15 second break. It really all depended on what she had planned. Um, it was really nice because when she posted her videos um, in the comment section, you got to see exactly what was coming up next. So you can kind of prepare for it or look over the exercises like I did usually the night before or the day before or that day and kind of gauge what weight I could be using. Um, thankfully, I actually have a, uh, a range of different weights. So that really worked out for me. But here's the thing. I really liked it because these workouts are geared towards everybody. So either you're a straight beginner or you're super advanced like she is, the workouts will function for every single person. So everything is timer based. There's no, you know, just do 12 on one side and 12 on the other. It's like you do whatever you can. Hope, try to take a mental note. If you are doing like one leg then the next leg, try to get the same rep count in each leg if you can. Um, you know, that's a something. But the cool thing about Carolyn is that she's she always stresses that it's you versus you. The timer is only a guide. Um, her weights that she's using, she puts them up on screen, what her weights are going to be, again, is a guide and that's something that she can do. Um, so you don't necessarily need to be lifting 25 pounds just because she is, you know, usually I was only lifting like 10 or 15 pounds. I was like half of what she was doing. Um, so I really enjoyed those kind. I really enjoyed the workouts because I didn't have to think about what to do. I just woke up in the morning, logged in, saw what the workout was going to be, and then prepared for that. So I really do enjoy that part of the, of, of the Epic program. Okay, so I'm going to post on screen some progress uh, pictures. Now, you're really not going to see much because with Epic One program, I didn't even know if I was going to like the program. I really was starting to trust I was starting to trust Carolyn, but I wasn't quite sure what she was all about or what she was, what direction she was going in. So I didn't really take um, progress pictures. Um, so wish, I wish I did because I'm sure there was a change between Epic One and Epic Two, but unfortunately I don't have it. So I'm going to show some some pictures from Epic Two from when I started in January to finishing about a week ago. Um, but Epic One for me was more about just uh, focusing on my nutrition trying to figure out my macro counts, trying to actually make sure to count my food, weigh my food, uh, that I'm eating the proper meals, um, starting to lift a little bit heavier, figuring out what kind of emotions um, to do, like what 
how to do an actual exercise. And so I, I pushed myself, but not crazy because everything was still brand new to me and I was still a, a newbie when it, when it came to working out. So Epic 2 comes along and now I'm really starting on, on my macros. I've doubled my calorie intake. Um, I'm up to 2100 right now. I've um, trying to increase my weights now. So I remember, oh, okay, in Epic 1, I was able to squat 15 pounds and now I can do 20 or 25. Um, so I really tried to like capitalize on each one of those exercises and just really start. So unfortunately, you're not going to see a lot of like shredded looking, um, especially because a lot of people who jump in on, on working out, it's because their main goal is to lose weight and mine is to put weight on. So I know physically I've actually gotten a lot stronger, um, mainly because when I'm doing workouts, like say a push up or um, squatting and whatnot, I'm actually able to either squat lower and, and come up or my push ups are getting a lot better. Like my chest is reaching more of the floor now. Um, I can do a little bit longer reps. And so I know I'm getting stronger that way. It just doesn't show too much on the picture side of things um, because I am putting weight on and unfortunately with weight comes fat, added fat as much as I don't want it there, it's just gonna happen. So until I start dieting down and, and cutting down, um, we're really not gonna see a whole lot of different changes in my body, but that's okay because that's what my goal is and it had nothing to do with Carolyn um, and her workout. It's it's just me personally, what, what was happening with me. The last and kind of final reason about why I believe you guys should be joining the EPIC program, and I wasn't really listing anything in general, I'm just saying, is the fact that Carolyn is not one of these like fluff trainers. There's a bunch of trainers out there who will put like five or 10 pounds on and do like a 10 minute workout and their makeup is all done and their hair is all curled and they're wearing a matching outfit and their nails and everything is all like pristine and they're doing like a 10 minute booty workout or you know let's do some shoulders for like five minutes and whatnot but there's not really breaking a sweat and there's not much going on and they have like four million followers because people think like oh i just gotta do 10 minutes and i'm gonna look like that sign me up mm, that's not really the case where you have carolyn opposite she's sitting there lifting 25 to 50 pounds you know, yeah, she has a bit of makeup on and stuff, but her hair is pulled back and she's just, you know, hammering out these sessions. You see her sweating. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing. And you're like, okay, like this chick is for me because she's an actual trainer. Like she's really getting in there because the workout that she's doing on screen is her workout for the day. So she really wants to just get the most out of it. And why I loved her even more is the fact that when you're following along with her, and you're doing her workouts and she knows that they're hard and you know that and you know that they're hard because you see her take breaks within her own workouts so you have a 45 second window to hammer out as many reps as possible and she's hovered over because it's hard you know it's hard especially if she's lifting 25 or 50 pounds over and over and over again and you're getting towards the end of the of the workout that is a lot of energy being exerted for 45 minutes and she gets tired and I'm like, thank God, because here I am dying. I thought it was just me, but no, she's also tired. So she, and sometimes she's even taking two breaks, especially on like shoulder press, do, 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 do. <sighs> and then she'll sit there for like five, six seconds. Okay, let's go again. And you know, you're just hammering it out. And it was so refreshing to see that in a trainer, especially on, on a workout where you're following along. Oh my God, she's not editing it out. She's not doing nothing. She is with you real time. And she tells you in the beginning, like, hey, you're gonna see me taking breaks or hey, this is what to expect or this is the weight that I'm using. So you know, when she's doing, you're like, damn, damn girl, like I, this is hard. I, I feel ya, don't worry, I get it. So, you know, when Epic 2 finished and, and it wrapped up and whatnot, it was a very bittersweet moment. I got very emotional with it. I, I, you know, very teary eyed and stuff. And I was waving to the TV and I was just like so happy and I was clapping and, you know, I finally did. I did 10 weeks or technically 20 weeks of a workout, which is like, you know, five months or so. And unfortunately, like, I really wish I had more gains to show you and stuff because eh, a lot of it for me was mental I had to come over, I had to overcome a lot of like food um, negativity and try to train my mind differently. And so using her programs uh, really helped with that. She was such an inspiration. So I feel for sure, for sure, that if you are looking for a workout program, you have to check hers out and you have to give it a shot because you will not be disappointed. 
So with that being said, um, thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk on Carolyn Gervain. And I really hope that you give her program a try. I'm going to link it in my description box below for you to uh, click on there and just go through her workouts that she has. Even if you don't want to start the Epic program, she has uh, workouts on there where it's just like shoulder based or, or quad focused or booty or whatever. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It does help me out. And I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.